It was so scary when I meet someone new and I have to tell them I do YouTube and then I have to wait for the reaction because it's either like, oh my god, that's fine, that's cool, or it's like, please don't ever talk to me again, you're cringe. Hello everyone, hello ladies and gents and everything between that side of it, I'm pretty sure that's what I say. At this point, I literally, I forget every second. Um, it's boiling right now, so I just start sweating throughout the video, <laughs> just like, don't mind me. Anyway, I thought it would be fun if we did a little unpopular book talk opinions or just like book opinions. I don't know why I said book talk. Maybe because these are mostly about book talk. Um, I thought that could be fun. Um, it's just like a chill sitting down video. Like I just, it's the Eurovision weekend. I literally slept so shit last night because I watched the finale with a few friends of mine. And um, it's a bee in my room. Fly out. The other window is open. Just go through the window next to you, bitch. Oh, I did. Good job. Um, basically, last night was the Eurovision finale, and I had some friends over. I literally, I could not sleep. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Is it though? No, it's not. It's not, bro. Let's just let's just get into this. Um, otherwise, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> As you guys, send me your unpopular book opinion on Instagram and on TikTok. The first one that we'll be talking about is fantasy is underrated. Um, I feel like fantasy is often like classified as more of like a a children's genre because obviously, children's have a much bigger imagination than adults that's why it's kind of underrated because people are just like oh yeah well it's just a children's thing blah, blah 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 i definitely i definitely do think it is underrated but i think through like book talk fantasy is definitely coming back up a lot more and there's definitely a few book talk books that are fantasy that a lot of people have read um so i feel like it's slowly starting to like come back i was as a kid a massive fan of the warrior cats and i definitely want to reread those books so i probably will the next one is i've had this one like literally so many times it's so bad like guys this is not my popular opinion everyone thinks this i thought we already had to establish this but it is they both die at the end is a bit over is is overrated in my opinion everyone thinks that everyone thinks it's overrated because they both die at the end um i personally haven't read the book because when i wanted to read the book i didn't have the money to buy it and then when I did have the money, everyone was just like hating on it. So it was like, I guess it's just not worth my money. So yeah, and I just didn't. This is another one that is not super unpopular. Like, it is a bit unpopular, but I've heard multiple people say this. Uh, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo gave me a reader block and I didn't really like it. I think same to same exact thing with uh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It took me so long to get through. The book is not massive, it's just like average size, but it just took me so long. I feel like Seven Husbands were a bit too many because in some parts it was just an unnecessary husband and it was only really the deep, like the really, really small details that helped add to the story, which I feel like sometimes you could just add a diff through a different husband maybe. And yeah, I guess the ending. So that was just kind of a bummer for me because everyone was like, oh my god, the ending of the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, blah, blah, blah. But that was also kind of my fault for reading the blurb in the middle of the book. But um, just don't say that much in the blurb that you can guess it, bitch. Sorry. Sorry. I prefer enemies to lovers to childhood friends. I don't. I don't read romance that often, I definitely do have a few books um, uh, that I have read and that I want to read, but um, most of them that I've read so far are definitely enemies to lovers and I think childhood friends could be so such a cute trope and I definitely want to try a few of those. It's like I used to not read romance at all and then I tried it and then it just warms my heart because it makes you just want to be loved. Huh? Huh? Again, I feel like this is not a very unpopular opinion. Um, I mean, maybe it's not like, okay, I don't know, I'm just gonna read Perks of Being a Wallflower, best book ever. So, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion that's good. I think it's an unpopular opinion that's, like, their favorite book ever, but I definitely know a few people that have, like, Perks of Being a Wallflower at the top of their list. I watched the movie, and I loved the movie, but I really, 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 really want to read the book. But since I've watched the movie, and I know what the story's about, and I know the story, it's not, like, my most urgent book to buy especially since i have like 60 more to read um 
80% of the BookTok books are actually not that good as BookTok makes them seem. So I do like, I want to agree with this, but on the other hand, like I feel like there's a lot of people that do enjoy the books, but obviously if you're going to present a book to like millions of people or just hundreds of people, hundreds, thousands of people, not are going to like them because there's going to be people that like saw the book love the book and they're going to keep sharing that and there's going to be people that keep doing that and obviously eventually it will get overhyped it's the same as songs but over i think overplayed is worse than overhyped this person posted two but they're like complete opposites of each other this is really confused so the first one is fooling the corners of the pages is illegal i've heard multiple people say that and then this person also said breaking the back is the best part like the spine of the book they make a choice make a choice you cannot destroy the book half i mean i know it's probably like a preference and like i'm still really working on making my books like a bit more owned but breaking spines is something i will never do uh this one is quite similar to the last one folding the corners of your pages as bookmarks looks good make um the book looks good it makes the book less look hold folding the corners of your pages as bookmarks looks good the book looks rustic that's kind of what I said, I like it makes it look owned and like old, which I do like. The book that I'm currently reading is a, a reread, so it definitely looks like a bit older and it just looks a bit more like personalized, which I really like. But I just don't have to all through that with all my other books. Then somebody said the Shatami series is overrated. I have the first Shatami book and have I read it? No. Because my stupid ass thought this was an amazing video idea um, until I realized that I have a lot of BookDoc books. I just haven't read them. Oopsie daisy. I love cliffhangers. And I understand this to a certain extent, okay? I think cliffhangers are good if there's a second book or there's like a other part to it that you can like then read further with the Heartstopper series, the first book, and it's kind of enough cliffhanger, which is it ended on a sad note and you want it to like know what was gonna continue to happen. Um, I understand where you're coming from. But if it's just like a standalone and then you love cliffhangers, then there's something wrong with you. Um, I need the satisfaction of a good ending of the book, if that makes sense. I got this one quite a lot. It says paperback over hardcover, which I agree. Paperback is superior. It's better. Um, I think I have like three books that are hardcover and um, I didn't even buy any of them myself. So classic books over book talk books. And I feel I... I, I, I it depends because I feel like classic books sometimes just take a bit more energy to read and I do like just a lot of book talk books especially like the romance books they're just pure escapism which I love sometimes you just need an escapism book you know you just need to get the fuck out of here I think I've never filmed in this angle look at my heart stopper this one just hurts my heart Har Harry Potter is overrated um I would like you to leave the door please See, everyone has their own opinion, but this one is just not right. Everyone's just attacking me at this point. Nothing really happens in Ugly Love. Ugly Love was my first Colleen Hoover book, and I really, really liked it. I think quite a lot happens in the book, because we have to figure out quite a lot of stuff. You know what happened with Miles, I think is his name. And, like, like what happened. And I, like, understand where you're coming from, don't worry. Like, I understand it, but... I liked it. I gave it five stars. Somebody said Nikki Fan Trap books are underrated and I have I think I have like seven or eight. I have a lot of, of uh Nikki French book books and um I haven't read any of them. No, but my mom loves them, so then um one of us is lying is not that good. I literally guessed the end. I guess the end as well, but I just really like the characters and the character development and I just like the writing of the book and just everything. I did guess the ending as well, but it was not a bad ending. And somebody said, I didn't like One Last Stop and The Song of Achilles that much. Um, I was really close to buying um, One Last Stop, but I didn't. I just didn't feel like it was my book. I only bought The Song of Achilles because I got it for 70 cents or like one euro at like a thrift store. Um, I was like, well, that's a steal. And I'm going to Greece this year because we've been going to Greece for like literally the past like 12 years. So I have already picked, picked a few books that I want to read in Greece this year, so yes. Um, and on TikTok, they were quite similar. Also, like Colin Hoover's books are overrated and all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry that I'm so tired. It's just 
the video that i recorded yesterday it was just not fun i was literally so dead um more dead than today surprisingly i hope you enjoyed today's video and uh if you're still watching comment the swedish flag i have a swedish flag magnet so let's comment the swedish flag um i hope you enjoyed and i will see you when i see you